When it comes to data, there are numbers that are harder to share than others, and the statistics relevant to campus safety are among the most personal and difficult to digest. Statistics tell us that one in every four college women will be a victim of sexual assault, and in eight out of ten cases of rape, the victim knows the person who assaulted them, and it doesn't stop with sexual assault. Bullying is the new force on campuses and playgrounds. In fact, the Center for Disease Control says that more than 14% of bullying victims have considered suicide, and more than 7% have tried it. The tragic outcome is an estimated 4,400 suicides each year as a result of bullying. Of course, there is obvious impact attached to these numbers. In addition to the psychological fallout for the victims, there are financial and public relations consequences as well. At last count, there are more than 20 major lawsuits pending against universities for sexual harassment. Each instance of rape costs a university approximately $150,000, and annually, the United States spends over $127 million on sexual assault cases. That's more than any other crime in this country. In the case of bullying, costs are mounting as the healthcare system works to deal with the physical and emotional treatment required for bullying victims. With the numbers growing in these categories, professionals need the tools to address these issues proactively, and this is where FirstNet Learning excels. The courses created for our campus safety and compliance catalog specifically address the toughest situations for instructors, administrators, and even student employees, covering the topics most relevant to anyone in a school-based environment. Safety is our passion, so the objective of this catalog is clear: provide the resources and training necessary. To address and prevent sexual assault and bullying in our schools, to find out more about how FirstNet Learning can help prevent your school from becoming another statistic, contact us today and start training for tomorrow.